Hi everybody, it's Andy, and I want to show you today a really cool tool that's been around forever. It's called Zoomit. This Zoomit tool, I have used this while presenting, while teaching classes. It only works on Windows, but if you use Windows for presentations, for teaching, for online, you know, things like using Zoom or WebEx or whatever, Zoomit is absolutely the tool you must have. So let me show you how to get this tool and how to use this tool. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna open up a web browser here. And in the web browser, we're gonna do a search for Zoomit. And there we go, Bing has found it. All right, so I would assume that Google would find it as well. So there's a Zoomit download and then you see there's a Zoomit on Windows here as well, okay? so. I want to choose this first one because this is at the Microsoft website. There we go, Zoomit 4.52. Now, this has actually been around for a while, as you will see. But what you want to do is click on the download link. This will then download to your downloads directory. All right, let's open up the Explorer here. All right, so uh, we'll go to downloads and there's Zoomit. So what we want to do is extract this. I'll just say extract all. And we'll just let it go into the downloads directory. That's fine. And there we go. It has extracted it. We're in the Zoomit directory. And then you can see there's a couple of different versions. The one I'm going to use is just the plain regular version called Zoomit. Okay. Now, in order to do this, what, here's what I suggest. Go to your desktop, create a folder. So say new folder and just call it utilities. If you don't already have this, a lot of people do this with simple little utilities like this because they're so powerful and they're so simple. Um, and then open that up. All right. And then back here in this Explorer, we'll just drag and drop this, zoom it over to utilities. There we go. Okay. Now we can just get rid of this if we want. I'll just go to downloads and we'll just delete these. We don't need them anymore. Okay. Just to clean up, right? So there is Zoomit right there. Again, it's in our desktop, and I'll show you that. There it is, see? Utilities right here, and, and there the program is right there. So very simple, just standalone application. So what you do is double-click it to run it. There we go. Let's minimize that to get rid of it. There we go. This is the Zoomit configuration screen. You can see the last update was really done in 2013, <laughs> so that's fine. And you can see there are uh, four different or five different tabs. There's the Zoom tab, the Live Zoom tab, the Draw tab, Type, uh, which lets you type, and then Break. Okay, now this is cool because what it allows you to do is create a break timer. And you can set the time right here if you wish. Now, what I always do is I turn this on right here to run Zoomit when Windows starts. That way, when you reboot your machine, Zoomit is always there running. If you use other tools that are very similar or they, they compete for these hotkeys or whatever, then you know feel free to not do that, right? And only run Zoomit when you need to or whatever. All right, so I'm going to say OK. And let's see, let's open up and let's see if it'll run. Um, now, the one problem you can run into is that you can you know, end up with a conflict over those keys. So I've just opened up this, this little notepad here and let's try some of these things. So the first one I'm gonna do is the control three, which is the timer. All right, there we go. See, it started at 10 minutes and now it's counting down. So this is really handy for when you're taking a break. Uh, you, you know, if you do 15 minutes, you can obviously set that timer. The escape key will take you right back to normal. So that's the control three hotkey. Let's do the control one hotkey, and that's the zoom. Now what's happening here is you can see as I'm moving my mouse around, we're kind of moving around the screen, which is kind of nice, okay? So you can zoom in on a particular part. Now, now going back to zoom it for a second, where you will find Zoom It is in the little dock down here. There it is. And if you click on this and say Options, you'll get that screen back that you were dealing with earlier. So you can see the, the magnification of the Control 1 as being 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, 1 and 3 quarters, 2, 3, and then 4. You see it defaults to 2, and that's usually enough you know, when you're doing a presentation. So again, if I hit Control 1, uh, let's say OK, if I hit Control 1, 
you can see I zoom in at, at basically twice the size, which is pretty cool. Okay, again, escape key takes you back to normal. All right, control two is the ability, gives you the ability to literally draw on the screen. Like you can draw a circle around something to attract attention to it. You can place, you know, do an arrow. It is using the mouse, so it's a bit rough. It's not perfect. I don't think you can really accurately write with it unless you had some sort of a pen and a, a touchpad or something like that. But again, you can just simply uh, draw pictures, draw diagrams. I, I tend to focus on these types of things up here, which is to circle something or to draw attention to something. That's what I really use that for. And again, the escape key, they all go away. So you can do this on top of slides, you know, on top of drawings, on top of anything, which is, again, really, really handy. The last one is the control four. Now, what this is, is kind of a zoom as well, but it's called the live zoom. So, so basically, it still allows you the ability to do things and to open things up and so forth, even though you're in the zoom. So it's not a static zoom. It's, it's basically a live zoom. And again, escape will turn you back to normal. Okay, so pretty cool. So that is Zoom It in a nutshell. I hope you really like this tool. Like I said, it, it is on all of my Windows machines. I love to use it during presentations to zoom in on things, to annotate things, to set timers, and it's just so handy. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.